Hello, and welcome to the walkthrough video for the 2013 Sears Brandspace Refresh Project. In this video, you will see the basic steps that will be required to complete this refresh. Here is what the display should look like when you enter the store. And some of the items to be refreshed in this display include three new TVs, a new back wall and header, new graphics and video content, and the 3D pedestal will be converted to hold a tablet that will actually interact with the TV on the far left. Now we'll show you how to dismantle the display and prep it for the new materials and product to be added. First, you need to remove all of the TVs from the display. Make sure this task is completed by two people so as to ensure the display is not dropped. Notice a soundbar is attached to the TV on the bottom right of the display. Move it by unscrewing the bracket on the back of the TV and then removing the soundbar after that. Then, place all the old product away from the display and notify the store manager that it will not be used anymore. You will then need to remove the old graphics from the display, including the center graphic and panel graphics. Notice, while an Allen wrench will be provided in the refresh kit, you may want to bring a drill with the correct hex key bit to expedite the process of removing the old graphics. Now you can remove the back wall and header from the display. First, you need to separate the back wall from the surrounding frame on the left and right side of the display. You can do this using a utility knife and then either your hands or a screwdriver, but be careful not to damage the display frame while completing this. Then go ahead and remove the header from the display, as well as the frames that held it in place and the brackets that secured the top of the display to the wall. Make sure you use a ladder to remove the brackets so you prevent injury to yourself and others around you. Remove all three of the back wall graphics by grabbing the bracket at the top and then lifting the graphic out and over the TV brackets on the display. And to complete the dismantling of the display, remove the old wire management cover, graphics on the display, and the cables connected to the old 3D pedestal, which will be discarded. This is what the display should look like when you finish dismantling it. And now it's time to place the new materials and product on the display. We will start by sliding in the new back wall graphics, which will lock in place just like the old ones, by sliding the top bracket back onto the top of the display itself. Do this for all three graphics, and then make sure you smooth out the surface of the graphics and tuck in the corners into the frames so it looks professional. Then secure the back wall graphics to the display with the frames and brackets like these. Go ahead and assemble the header on the ground before you carefully place it on top of the display followed by the new center graphic and right panel graphic. Notice you can't install the new left panel graphic until after you install the convergence tablet pedestal. To do this, run the pedestal cords through the wire management cover, then attach the cover to the pedestal itself. Ensure the cords are protected by the cover before you pull the remaining slack under the display. Then run the cords out and up the side of the display to where the new TV will be placed. Finally, it's time to install the new TVs, firmware, and video content on the display. Start by screwing the TV brackets provided in the kit into the new TVs to be placed on the display. Then place each TV onto its respectful bracket. Notice, for the TV on the top right, you will need to plug in the HDMI cable from the media box to the bottom HDMI port before you place it on the display. Now update the firmware on the TVs using the instructions provided in the kit. While the TVs are updating, install the left panel graphic and then the graphic that sits below it. Now, if you ever need to do maintenance on either media box that runs to the top two TVs, you can find the power switch for them on the bottom of the shelf they sit in. Lastly, install each TV's security bar and plug in the convergence tablet to the TV on the top left. Get acquainted with the demo. You can control the TV using the tablet by opening the demo app and simply swiping through the videos. When you want to play a video, just press the play button on the screen and it will start on its own. At the end of your refresh, make sure you clean up all wires so that they are not visible to the customer. If you run into any issues completing this display, please call field support at 877-699-6275. This is what the refreshed 2013 brand space display should look like. New TVs, back wall and header, graphics, video content, and convergence tablet pedestal which showcases how almost everything Samsung can be controlled with just the tap of a screen.